Suzuki shuns the monocoque framing method and runs on a frame made with large diameter, thin wall steel tubing for increased strength and reduced weight, and this is another contributing factor in the increased handling performance as the extra stiffness makes the chassis more stable under cornering stresses. The factory increased the diameter of the front wheel from 14 inches to 15 inches, but the 13-inch rear wheel remained. Almost as if to make up for that tiny rear wheel, Suzuki tossed on a pair of 260mm front discs to supplement the 210mm rear disc. No drums, thank goodness, with ABS protection as part of the standard equipment package. Suspension components are also motorcycle-like with 41mm stems up front that deliver 4.3 inches of travel. The rear shock comes with the obligatory spring preload adjustment, but that represents the only adjustment in the system and the rest is straight vanilla. Center to center, the contact patches lie 53.1 inches from each other with an overall length of 88 inches even in a 29.7 inch seat height that should work for nearly all body types. If you're the last one to know that it's raining, you may have problems, but everyone else should be alright.